It's a moment I've been waiting for for a long time. I'm sure a lot of us feel that way. So thank you for the time that you give. So I've been doing a lot of work on myself for a while now. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Too much effort. We want to hear you say, I've been doing a lot of play on myself. A lot of play on myself. And it's how I feel right now. Yes. Because I've never enjoyed what I do as much as I do now. Yes. And it's recently that I really enjoy, I really understood what it means to enjoy the journey. Yes. And I feel very blessed of where I am in my life, but I know I brought myself here. Yes. I'm very grateful. It's part of, like you're saying, you know, you don't rely on your past or look back in your past. But at the same time, where I'm at right now is I have a burning desire that I've had for so long, even when I was a little girl, you know, living during a war. And it's amazing how the universe and the law of attraction works because everything I've ever asked for is, as a young kid is, has manifested. But it's amazing to see the journey I've had to go through. And now I appreciate it so much more. And I understand why I went through what I went through to get to where I am today. And I know if I didn't go through that, I wouldn't appreciate where I am today as much as I do. <clears throat> but part of what I do is being a mentor and a coach to so many people. And I love it. I love it with every inch of my body. And it was a discussion I was having with my brother, actually, is we want to love ourselves and we want to focus on ourselves, but I have this desire to give so much more than what just me and to just make such an impact in this world. And I'm on that path of getting there. And I just want a little clarity about, is that OK to want to give and make such a big impact in this world? Or is it just OK to just focus on me, 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 me? So I'm just a little confused as to, well, your desire for impact on the world is for me, 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 me. You can't separate one from the other. You can't separate why something feels good to you. Yeah. In other words, of course, you are an uplifter to the very core of your being. And even something as simple as driving down the street in the city where you live and seeing the premier tires for sale at an incredible bargain, you would want to tell others about it. Yeah. Of course, you want to share what you feel is of advantage to you. And of course you want to be an uplifter, but we don't see any way of separating. When we say to people, you are naturally selfish, or when we are accused of teaching selfishness, we always say, yes, indeed we do. Because if you're not selfish enough to care about how you feel, then you can't tap into the energy and then you don't have anything to give anyone anyway. But as you are, caring about uplifting you have to understand or you have to accept or you have to acknowledge that if seeing someone thrive feels good to you how do you separate whether it's for them or whether it's for you and we wouldn't spend too much trying to do that usually when people are saying we've had a few experiences quite a few experiences it's rampant among you <laughs> where someone will be explaining to us why they want to win the lottery and then they will quickly insert oh and I will share it with a lot of others and I will do a lot of good with the money and we say you can keep it all for yourself in other words you don't have to justify winning the lottery by being so quick to share it with others as if you are not worthy enough to receive it and so there's a little bit of that that's sometimes mixed in with the idea that I want to help the world and it gets a little confusing to you when you hear us say things like the world doesn't need your help especially with teachers and mentors and coaches. We don't want you to get this confused or inflated idea that someone that you are mentoring can't receive the well-being without you. You are at best an example of someone who knows how to tune in and you can't tune in for them. So everyone has to do it for themselves, no matter how effective we are at explaining it. We are really, 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 really good at this. And there are people who cannot hear us. It's because they're not in the vibrational place where they are able to hear. And so it's all right for you to want anything that you want. And it's all right for you to explain it in any way that you want to. 
We just don't want you to feel like you need to justify the well-being that comes to you by serving others because no one can stop serving others and no one can stop being served by others and no one can stop benefiting. You couldn't even be who you are if it were not for the others with whom you share your planet. Everything that you're about is this perfectly balanced place. And so we're pointing you toward acknowledged self-awareness which means acknowledged selfishness and we think it is a wonderful thing when you are so selfish that it makes you feel good when others feel good <laughs> not a bad place and I learned that a lot from my two and a half year old daughter who's the most aligned person I know but I know you mentioned before about children and how do you I'm learning to be more patient and I'm learning to see her as an individual with her own everything and I try my best to be in the vortex before I have that you know relationship or whatever situation it is but sometimes you're stuck in a situation where you don't have time to get into the vortex and they need you now 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 I'm not talking about dangerous situation I'm just talking like you know mommy I need you right now but you're not completely where so what's never a time that you don't have time to get into the vortex there's never a time that you don't have time there are times that it is unlikely that you will <laughs> yes <laughs> and my other thing it as just well has as... to be a higher priority okay. when you say sometimes you are experiencing difficulty with patience like what if I've had a bad day which now I'm a lot more well then aware. just give it up say to your child if have a bad day it's not going to be fun to be around me so I'd go find other things to do and other people to be with <laughs> because anything you do with me is not going to go well and you're going to probably get blamed for a whole bunch of stuff that's not your fault yeah. <laughs> that's a good one yeah. and so make yourself scarce thank God I don't have as many bad days as I used to and I've learned recently to love where I am even when I'm not feeling good because I know that it's just part of well the that's process. crazy talk <laughs> but not beating myself over just but you can't love where you are when you're out of the vortex those two things do not go together we agree not to beat up on yourself about it certainly yes but to say That's I love I mean. myself in this foul mood that I am will only exacerbate it more because you're not in love with your disconnection you might be aware of it you might be feeling compassion for yourself as your inner being does because your inner being is certainly not blaming you or pushing against you your inner being is understanding you see sometimes people use words that defy how they really feel yeah. Esther's friend says the words don't match the music so to speak and so to say I love where I am when you clearly know that you're out of the vortex that you're not in the receiving mode that you're not tuned in tapped in turned on maybe a better thing to say is I appreciate my guidance system that lets me know where I am and while I may not be able to do that much about it right now because of whatever momentum has been taking place I certainly can do something about it while I sleep and wake up looking for something more you see what we're getting at so would you say meditation or napping it doesn't really matter right I guess it depends on what feels well, right for you at the moment both will stop the cycle both will slow the momentum meditation is more productive because when you meditate and your vibration raises you actually have the experience of moving with your vibration as it raises where if you take a nap there's been no conscious movement of energy but to say I'm going to meditate into a higher vibration usually while you sit there for that 15 or 20 or 30 minutes or however long you're giving yourself you're just arguing with yourself usually you're not quieting your mind and so in that case the nap is better whatever it takes to stop the momentum sometimes you know from your experience with children sometimes you can just distract them by holding something shiny up over here <laughs> and so it's the same process that you do with your two-year-old mm -hmm. do it with yourself just hold something shiny up over there that distracts you from whatever it is that's bothering you and if the shiny thing doesn't work then meditate And if the meditation doesn't work then take a nap this process of really making the strong point to yourself that you mean to be in alignment with who you are just makes it so that more often you are but we agree wholehearted with you don't beat up on yourself when you're not yeah and my last thing I want to ask about is when you're surrounded by a spouse or a husband or a partner or whatever 
that isn't always on the same vibrational level and you're trying so hard to stick to who you are and follow your gut and but you see in this case you're not trying hard to stick to who you are because you've just pointed out that they're not in alignment with you so by your observation of them you've already introduced resistance into your experience and you want to blame it on them for not being up to speed with you but really you're the only one who's not up to speed with you they can be not up to speed with you and you can be up to speed with you mm -hmm. and you won't even notice if they're not up to speed with you if you're up to speed with you okay they'll just look cute <laughs> they'll just look like somebody trying to learn something like your children when they're learning to walk and they fall down you don't say get up you little dummy you think it's cute how they can't walk you think it's cute how they try so the same is true of yourself or anyone who isn't up to speed with who you are isn't it cute as they are out of alignment with who they are okay. yeah okay. yeah thank you so much something more really helpful no I think I think I'm good thank, thank you, you.